Speaker, today the Liberals bought Kinder Morgan out of Canada. It's a loss of nearly $8 billion that will be invested in other countries. And $4.5 billion is just the beginning of cost to taxpayers. For a year and a half, the Liberals failed to assert federal jurisdiction and to enforce the rule of law. Today, the Liberals are forcing Canadians to pay for their failures. Trans Mountain's opponents, they'll keep fighting to stop it and to kill pipelines in Canada. It's a catastrophic indictment is, on the Prime Minister. Right on. When will he finally admit that today's announcement is really Kinder Morgan divesting from Canada and Canadians paying for it? Yeah. Honourable Minister of Finance. Speaker, what today's announcement is about is it's about our decision to step forward and ensure that we can actually get a project in the national interest done in this country. We know that the previous government was just unable to do that. So we've stepped forward with an approach that will ensure that happens by de-risking the project. It's in the national interest. We know, Mr. Speaker, it will create 15,000 jobs. We know it will create significant advantage for our economy. That's why we're moving forward to make sure that this project happens. The Honourable Member for Lakeland. But, Mr. Speaker, the reality is more than $100 billion in energy investment has left, and hundreds yeah. of thousands of Canadians have lost their jobs That's under these right. Liberals. Meanwhile, oil and gas is thriving around the world, especially in the U.S., Canada's biggest competitor. Yeah. The Prime Minister is destroying future private sector energy opportunities, driving investment out of Canada into other countries, and sacrificing Canada's best interests. Yeah. Now that the Liberals have chased away yet another private sector energy investor, how can Canadians possibly trust them? to rebuild confidence in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, the member opposite is entitled to her opinions, but not to her own facts. The facts are that we've created 600,000 jobs in the last couple of years in this country. Canadians are doing significantly better because of the policies of this government. We know that we now need to move forward on a project that is advantageous for the country, but also for Alberta and British Columbia. In standing up for this project, what we're doing is ensuring that we will get a fair price for our resources, and we're doing it in a way that is respecting our approach to ensuring the environment is protected while we get proper prices for our, our resources.